Hi, this is Jeff Piergenziano and um, I would like to show you a couple of cases uh, which underline one main concept. And the main concept is that in, of course, we have guidelines in melanoma in order to, um, uh, to uh, guide in some way our decisions uh, concerning the management of our patients okay so we try to follow guidelines but you know guidelines are not like uh, the Bible you know guidelines are just some directions can be uh, that can be applied for the majority of cases huh? but, not, but not for all of the cases and especially in the context of melanoma um, uh, this is such a crazy neoplasia so we have to keep in mind that not all the situations are covered by the guidelines. Eh? Not all the clinical questions are covered by the guidelines. So we have to keep understanding, we have to keep in mind that um, uh, our decision should be tailored uh, case by case, patient by patient. Okay. Let me give you a, a couple of examples. This is an uh, uh, elderly lady was coming with this uh, strange lesion. It's a no ulcerated nodular lesion with, with satellites. Uh, a previous biopsy was, an, uh, was uh, in a previous biopsy, uh, the pathologist was not able to make a diagnosis. In my view, this is very suspicious for melanoma, very suspicious, especially for the demoscopy picture where you can see um, uh, uh, this blue black rule, you know, so the presence of blue and black color, and this is very highly specific for uh, for advanced melanoma, for advanced primary melanoma. Okay, on the left side you can see also some irregular vessels, but mainly what we can see in the center and on the top top right is this blue combination of blue and black color. Okay, so what should we do with in a patient like this? We will. Uh, 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 we were thinking about how to manage this patient. Of course, we need a new biopsy, right? Of course, we need a new biopsy to make sure that this is a melanoma, okay? Now, if this is a melanoma and if this is uh, a, a patient, uh, of course, we need, we need to do a staging and if this patient is negative, uh, so the ultrasound regional uh, of the regional lymph nodes and the TC scan is negative. Um, uh, should we consider uh, this patient operable or inoperable? Okay, we know by the presence of the satellites that this is already a stage three. Okay, for sure because there are satellites. Okay, but the lesion is so large, eh? and the possibility that this lesion is recurring in a few months is so high that probably we uh, have to keep, uh, we have to consider this patient as a stage 3 inoperable patient, okay? And then offering him uh, a treatment uh, um, with, uh, uh, with target therapy or with immunotherapy if it's not BRAF mutated, okay? So in some way there is no guidelines here um, able to tell us what to do. We have to uh, judge case by case. In a, in a situation like this, it's, uh, it's not really convenient that in an elderly patient we do a big surgery, probably taking months to recover and then having a recurrency in a few months. Probably the best idea is to, uh, to give a treatment immediately. Uh, general in uh, under under general situation second case which is also very interesting this is a younger man is a 50 year old uh, professor of pharmacology and uh, he came to us with this strange lesion actually he didn't come for this lesion but anyway he was showing us this lesion tell us, telling us well what do you think do you think it's a scar we said, okay, it could be a scar, but what 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 was there? Uh, yeah, I, I excised something here a few years ago, but uh, nobody told me anything, so I suppose we didn't do an histopathologic examination. So we were not sure about the scar, so we did a we did a 
a partial biopsy demonstrating a very thick melanoma, very thick amelanotic melanoma of the skin. Okay. So now, um, uh, of course, we did uh, immediately staging, you ultrasound negative and this is scan negative. Okay. So we have to understand what to do for, for this patient. Okay. And this patient had two options offered, one by us and one by another institution. And now, the first option is to consider this case as a stage two uh, melanoma. Okay. So it's a thick melanoma, so probably it's a stage two. So how to proceed? Wide excision plus sending a node biopsy. Eh? And waiting for the sending node biopsy. And if the uh, sending a node is positive, then to propose the adjuvant therapy. Okay, so this is the first, first option offered by uh, the other institution. What we offered to the patient is a little bit different. We consider this case as a stage 3 melanoma because uh, this melanoma was uh, 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 occurring on the, on the same area of a lesion which was uh, excised a few years ago. So most probably this lesion a few years ago was already a melanoma and uh, so this is a recurrency, a local recurrency, so by definition a stage 3 melanoma. Okay, so what we proposed is to do a wide excision, of course, to excise completely the lesion, eh? but no need for sending node biopsy because we know already that this is a stage 3 patient, eh? and then immediately offer him an adjuvant treatment, <coughs> of course, and, uh, after performing the BRAF uh, uh, test in order to understand if he, if he can undergo uh, target therapy or immunotherapy. So as you can see again, um, uh, it's a matter of uh, interpretation sometimes, it's a matter of, uh, of logic that you put behind uh, uh, the interpretation of a case. And uh, with this, I thank you and I, uh, and I see you uh, for the next uh, few videos. Bye-bye.